have you ever uh, experienced life where it did not go as you planned for it to go? How many have ever prayed for something and it didn't happen? We needed a job, a financial blessing, somebody needed a check in the mail, right? needed to pass a test somebody needed another check in the mail you needed a job you needed a house a spouse uh, needed to get into college needed that promotion maybe even needed a healing whatever it was we pray and 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 sometimes it doesn't come sometimes the end result is not what we wanted it to be it doesn't turn out like we thought it would you know, sometimes when God doesn't bring it the way he, you want it to be, it can be confusing. It said in Psalm 84, it said, No good thing will He withhold from those who walk uprightly. And I believe that the teaching here for us tonight, oftentimes is on this journey, we are pursuing the wrong thing. We give all of our energy pursuing what I want, what we want, where we're supposed to go, where I want to go. The focus is never on the walk, but my focus is always on the good thing. Whatever it is, it's on the money, it's on the job, it's on the grades, it's always on the good thing. When prayers aren't answered, we question God, we let ourselves fall into discouragement, we become confused with God's plan and God's ways, and a lot of times He just wants us to examine our own life. A lot of times I'm judging God, but God wants me to judge my own walk. We say, God, why haven't you fill in the blank? God's looking at me saying, why haven't you fill in a lot of blanks and it's true we can judge God when God is waiting on us to judge ourselves it's not that God doesn't want to take you there it's that sometimes we are not walking uprightly in the way that God needs us to so God can take us there God is saying I want to give you good things I will not withhold any good thing from them that walk uprightly but you've got to focus on the walk. I've got to focus on the walk. And stop fixing my eyes on every good thing that I want because God will send the good thing when I walk uprightly, when I follow after Him. When I walk in the right way, God will bring every good thing into your life. A person that walks uprightly, hear me now, is not a perfect person. But it's a person that has every area of their life submitted to God. Their whole life is available to Him. It does not mean that they're perfect. It just means that nothing in their life is outside of God's covering. Nothing is off limits to God. And so the person that bows their knee on Sunday but does whatever they want the rest of the week... Jesus is not king of that person's life. That's not somebody that's walking up rightly. But somebody who's made Jesus Lord and King in every part of their life, the Bible says they are an upright person. They are walking uprightly. And from them, God withholds no good thing. You cannot expect to receive from God what you don't have the character to keep. I can't expect to receive something from God that I don't have the character to hold on to, to keep in my hand. We teach people that God wants to bless you, and He does, but we've got to understand the teaching here that He withholds no good thing from them that walk uprightly. Oftentimes we teach and preach that God has an abundant life for you, and He does. But a lot of times we forget the parts about examine your heart, carry your cross, turn away from sin, walk uprightly. All of those things are always the key that unlock the blessing of God. 
there's some things that you've got to work out before God is able or even willing to add people to your life, to add relationships to your life. God is not going to join a woman to your life and ask you to support her when you can't support yourself. You've got to be able to support yourself before God is going to add somebody for you to support. Man, if you can't consistently live for God, He's not going to join a woman to your life so that you can lead a home to live for God. You've got to get some things right in your life before God will add good things to your life. Remember Proverbs 22 said that he that finds a wife finds a good thing. But remember, I'm not going after the good thing. I'm going after God. I'm going after the walk. And when I got the walk right, God adds every good thing to my life. I've got to seek God. Don't seek the good thing. Seek the walk. Seek God. Seek Him first. And all these things shall be added unto you. You know, when something is being withheld, we feel like that prayer is being unanswered. I think it's very easy to become frustrated with God. But the real answer is most oftentimes we've got to look in the mirror. Maybe somebody is praying for a spouse, but they don't have their own life together yet. And they would be just exporting all of their troubles into the life of somebody else. God isn't going to send that person that mate. Maybe somebody is praying for a financial blessing, but they're not a good steward in their own life. They're robbing God. They're not a generous person. And God isn't going to send the financial blessing to that person. He's not adding good things because they don't have the walk right yet. I've wasted so many prayers saying, God, give me the good thing. Give me the great thing. Bless me with this. Bless me with that. But a lot of times I should have been praying, God, make me ready for everything you want to give me. Make me ready for everything you want to give me. Maybe our prayer ought to be, God, change me so I can be ready to receive every good thing that you want to give us.